Namaste. Today is yoga for harmony, to establish harmony between the mind, the body, and the soul by coordinating our movement with our breath in the vinyasa krama style introduced by TKV Deskachar, the son of the pioneer of modern yoga, T. Krishnamacharya. Both the individual soul, Atman, and the universal soul, Paramatman, are present within our heart. But the difference is that our individual ego uh, gets attached to the fruits of its actions, our karma, causing suffering. Whereas the universal soul merely observes the individual's actions as a witness. Now, according to the sage Patanjali, the highest states of consciousness can only be achieved when harmony exists between the Atman and the Paramatma. An attitude of selflessness is necessary to attain this perfect state of harmony, which is cultivated through the persistent practice of non-attachment. We're trying to practice our Vinyasa Krama Yoga by allowing the breath to harmonize with the movement and not allowing the ego to over-influence. So we'll now start to have some centering breaths. First by taking a comfortable seat, maybe onto a blanket or a cushion so that the lower back can draw in, the chest lift and the shoulders broaden. Just letting the shoulder blades sink into the back while keeping the inner body bright and buoyant. Inhale to build your harmony, rapport, and unity. Exhale, eliminate any discord or dissonance. Building the perfect harmony, inner and outer. Each inhale, sitting a little taller, getting a little straighter. And each exhale, finding your seat with strength, intention, that we can attain this perfect state of harmony with persistent practice and non-attachment to the fruits Akasha Mudra will help us keep this spaciousness, openness, vastness, and non-grasping aspect. Touching the tip of the thumb to the tip of the middle finger, the thumb represents the element of fire, and the middle finger, space. So accentuating the element of space with the power of fire. to assist in inner balance, calm emotions, and harmonizing brain activity. Inhale harmony. Exhale, letting go of the ego so that you can be open to the present, the reality, the truth, and find a way to join in supporting that truth and harmonizing our actions, our thoughts, and our words. Now, we have, obviously, vinyasa movement in the class. And we'll start now in kneeling position. Come to cat and cow. And 
remember you're synchronizing the breath with the movement. Inhale and start to look up, lift the sitting bones. And on the exhale, looking down, pull up through the navel, lengthen the tailbone, and press down through the hands and knees. And continue that flow at your own pace. Sometimes these flow classes are benefited by some music. <laughs> you can have some tempo to go with. As long as it's not too fast. Um, taking the right leg back, lift the right leg. And on the exhale, bring the right knee to the chest and the nose down towards the knee. And inhale, extend again. Exhale, tuck in. Great job, that's right. And once more with this right side. And rest the right knee down, circle the hips a few times, each direction. Making sure you go both directions. And then we'll start the left side, extending the left leg back, lift it up. As you're exhaling, draw the left knee to the chest and the nose towards that knee. Keep the fingers strong, clawing into the mat. Great, it's smooth movement, matching the breath. And last time, knee to the chest and the left knee down. Now, pressing back to child's pose, exhale, hips back, buttocks down. And on the inhale, lift the hips back to table pose, keeping those strong fingers, arms hugging to the midline. And we're flowing back down on the exhale to child's pose. Lifting again as you inhale. We're starting with very simple, basic movement. So the breath and the body become friends. Harmonizing the movement to the breath. Now we're coming all the way forward onto the chest, stomach down, chest down, chin down, hands to either side of the chest for cobra pose, hug the elbows in, press the hips down, the tops of the feet, and then inhale, press the fingertips down, curl the shoulders up. And exhale, release slowly back down like a red carpet rolling out. Rising again with each inhale just to a mini cobra, keeping the elbows still bent. Fabulous. Now press all the way up to table pose, inhaling and exhale, hips back and down again to child's pose. And without pause, inhale, lift the hips back to table, roll the hips forward, the chest comes down, and reverse that on the inhale, roll the chest up, lift the hips, and exhale back into child's pose. A little more complicated movement now. You're progressing. Doing great with that. 
champions. Yes, good. Now please lift to your table pose. Step the right foot forward between the hands. Okay. And we have a low lunge. Inhale with the right knee bent. And exhale, begin to straighten that knee. Lift the right toes up and fold forward. Now on the inhale, reverse that. Bend the knee, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Lift the toes. Squeeze the kneecap. Perfect. Very good. Smooth and even. Complete breaths in and complete breaths out. All right, we'll switch sides. Stepping right foot back, bring the left foot forward. Move the right knee back a smidgen and then start to flow, breathing, folding on the exhale and lifting the head and chest on the inhale. Nice, good with harmony. Finishing the flow, step the left foot back to table pose. <clears throat> and squeeze the knees together. You could even cross the ankles to really squeeze the shins together. Then bring the hips forward so there's a straight line from the shoulders to the knees. Keep the fingertips clawing in. A little, see a little white around the edge of the fingernails, that's good. And then some mini push-ups, down an inch, inhale, up to straight arms. Exhale, down a few inches, inhale to straight arms. Squeezing the legs together, squeezing the buttocks, squeezing the navel. Good. And now we'll curl the toes under for downward dog. Separate the feet hip distance and lift the knees up into downward facing dog. Inhale, bend both knees and exhale, straighten the legs, press the heels down. Inhale, relax the knees and exhale, lengthen the legs and arms. A little pulsation, even in this downward dog. So there's coordination, harmony. Now inhale, bring the shoulders forward, high plank. And exhale, press back to downward dog. We're moving back to high plank on the inhale. And to down dog on the exhale. Hugging the arms to the midline, shoulder blades into the back. Fabulous. Lower the knees down and slide right knee forward for pigeon. Right knee behind the right wrist. And then moving the left knee back to lower the hips. Find even stability, alignment, and core strength, keeping the outer hips drawing towards the midline, the pelvic floor lifting. And we're gonna fold on the exhale, bend the elbows, and lift on the inhale using back muscles as well as the arms. So exhale, folding down, and inhale, rising back up. OK, 
got that. Nice job. Now we'll switch sides and step the right foot back. Maybe walk the knee some if you want before bringing the left knee forward to pigeon and letting the right knee walk back. Aligning the hips so they're level and then maintain that integrity, that good intention of having harmony with the breath and the movement. Folding on the exhale and lifting on inhale. With complete breaths in and complete breaths out. All right, enough of that. Step the left foot back and walk the feet forward to standing. Alright, now starting with hands on the hips, begin circling the hips. Good. And going the second direction, reverse, circle. Now rest to the middle with Kasha Mudra. Next, we're going to circle the head. Move your nose in a circle like you're following the minute hand of a clock, going up to 12 on the inhale and around and down on the exhale to 6 o'clock. Not too fast, so you have time to enjoy the complete breath. And at the top of the inhale, you can switch directions and go the second way. to the center and interlace the hands behind the head. Now open the elbows wide and inhale, tilt the head back into the hands. On the exhale, bring the chin forward to the chest and the elbows around the sides of the head, gently stretching. Inhale to open back up and arch back, a mini back bend. And exhale to curl in. Great, and come up to the center. Turn the head to the right, lift the right elbow, bending to the side. Now inhale up to the center, turn the head to the left and bend to the right side as the left elbow lifts. And keep alternating at your pace. Maintaining that wonderful harmony Last side. And release the arms down. And we'll take a little wider stance. Letting the toes turn out. So the knees bend towards the direction of the toes. Good. Now, 
hands on the knees. We're going to circle the shoulders side to side, figure eight movement. your head, follow that movement. There's a harmony from side to side. Weight shifting. Good. And bring hands down to the floor under the shoulders. Bend the knees more. And now circle the hips from side to side or make figure eights. Any kind of movement that feels right in your body. It's not ego driven. It's open, spacious enough to harmonize with the present moment. Beautiful. We'll come back up to standing and step to the front of the mat. Mm -hmm. And taking the right foot back for warrior one, bend the left knee, lean on the knee so that you can look at the feet and adjust any micro attunements and then lift the arms Breathe into the back body, relax the shoulders, draw in through the navel and be very strong in the hips and legs, stabilize through that strength and then flow forward on the exhale with the arms wrapping under the leg and lifting back up to the sky on the inhalation. The stronger your foundation of strength and stability, the more fluid and graceful and harmonious the movement can become. Awesome. Lovely. Hug the legs to the midline for additional stability. The inner thighs engage. All right, step the right foot forward and step the left foot back. And bend the right knee, lean on the knee and adjust the feet so their back heel is down. And then hold that stability, hugging from the outer hips into the midline, the navel to the spine, hug the muscles to the bone. Now you have the arms lifting, shoulders relaxed. And whenever you're ready, fold on the exhale, lift again on the inhale. Big, beautiful wings spreading out like an angel. I see your angel wings. All right, last one. Stepping the left foot forward. Inhale to extend. And exhale, release. And go back to that spacious Akasha Mudra. Gaining your spacious open mind. Releasing expectations of the ego. <laughs> and we'll begin a sun salute, Surya Namaskara, the A series. And inhale, lift the arms, a little back bend. Then exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. Hands down, step both feet back to high plank. On the exhale, bend the elbows, lowering to low plank or all the way to the mat. And inhale, rolling the shoulders back into cobra, 
We're pressing the tops of the feet down, lifting the thighs and up dog. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, and press back to downward dog. Five breaths here. Inhaling, softening, and exhaling, strengthening and lengthening. Just pulsing with each breath to harmonize with the breath. Now, inhale, lift the heels, look up, exhale, bend the knees, and inhale, hop forward, and exhale, fold over straight legs. Inhale, reach up to st stand, arms overhead, and exhale, hands down to your side, akasha, spaciousness. Rest. Now let's repeat that same Surya Namaskar A. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach up high, arch back. Exhale, swan dive forward, hands down. Step or slide the feet back to high plank. Exhale to low plank or all the way to the mat. Inhale to up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog and breathe. Relaxing the shoulders and knees as you inhale and exhaling to straighten the legs and arms, lengthen the spine. Harmonizing this small movement to the breath really grip with the fingertips hug the inner arms to the midline keeping the shoulder blades really super glued into the back inhale look up lift the heels exhale bend the knees and inhale hop forward Good hopping, exhale, fold, little bunny, bunny hops, inhale, rise and lift the arms. And exhale, lower to rest, spaciousness. Now, we'll try warrior two. Step right foot back, warrior two, the right toes turn 90 degrees. Make sure the shoulders are above the hips and not leaning way far forward. Open the arm, shoulder height. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, look to the left hand and bend the left knee, deepen the pose to your capacity. Now we're gonna flow with the movement of the arms, so keep the legs super strong, the muscles hugging to the bone pelvic floor engaged. Inhale, lift the left arm up and exhale, bring the left hand down, the right arm up. And we rock back and forth at your pace. Inhale, rocking back and exhale, tilting forward. Nice harmony of breath and movement. Maintaining a strong intention of muscular energy in the inner thighs, the legs, the hips. Come back to warrior two. And to switch sides, you can just step the right foot forward or you can do the vinyasa with hands down, left foot back to high plank, exhaling low plank. Inhaling up dog and exhaling down dog. And step right foot forward for warrior two. Open the arms. 
look at the feet, adjust your stance so that it's sustainable, but also gives you lots of uh, freedom to move. Inhale, lift the right arm up, tilt back, and exhale, bring the right arm down, tilt forward. Good job. Okay, last breath in that. And step the left foot forward to meet the right. We're back to the front of the mat. Now hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra. Inner body bright, heart lifting, the shoulders back, the navel in. So you have a plumb line from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. And now practice another sun salute, variation B in the Ashtanga primary series. So for this, we're going to start in chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, and exhale, straighten the legs, swan dive, come forward. Now bend knees, step the feet back, high plank. This will seem very familiar. Now bend the elbows, low plank. Inhale, upward dog and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, once you're in down dog, lift the right leg, step the right foot forward, lower the left heel down, then start to lift the hands and lift the back. Warrior one. Excellent. Exhale, bring hands down, step the right foot back, two, high plank. You can always modify knees down, going to low plank with elbows bent, and upward dog or cobra. Curl the toes, press back, downward facing dog. Orient yourself. Harmonize with the breath. Inhale, lift the left leg up. And exhale, step the left foot through. Lower the right heel. Inhale, lift the both arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Left foot back, high plank. And exhale, bend the elbows, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. And you made it through all those warriors. And just continue to breathe and down dog, letting the knees and shoulders soften on the inhale. Align the spine and exhale, lengthen. Now inhale, look up, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, like a bunny, hop forward for Easter, fold over the legs, yes. Inhale, lift the arms, touch the palms. And exhale, relax the arms to your side. Go connect tip of the thumb to the tip of the middle finger, Akasha Mudra. Hmm. All right, now welcome to sit down and extend the legs forward to the front. We'll 
do Paschimottanasana with the movement of the breath, lifting the arms on the inhale, reach up, and on the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale, touch the earth with the fingertips, Bhumishparsha Mudra. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, folding forward, navel to the spine. Inhale, back, up, and you're flowing, you're breathing, keeping that harmony going. Hands down, lift the knees up. I'm going to press the feet and hands down to lift the hips. Parvotanasana. Inhale, bring the sides of the hips up. And exhale, let the buttocks rest back down or float the hips an inch off the floor. And inhale, bring the hips back up to their full height. And exhale down. Nice breaths, complete inhalation, and complete exhalation at the same speed. Now, come down and rest the legs straight, and I guess we're going to wide angle with the legs. Spiral the inner thighs down and draw the lower back in. Maybe pressing the fingertips behind helps with that and rolling the shoulders back. Now use core strength, thighs engaged, lift the kneecaps. And on the exhalation, I'm going to wrap the arms forward. The thumbs point down initially, and then inhale, turn the palms up, pull the elbows back behind the... And exhale, wrap forward, inhale, pull back. it. That's the movement. Yeah. Last time, reach out. Inhale, pull back. Okay, now we're going from side to side. So on the inhale, lift the right arm up and exhale to the left side. Inhale, lift the left arm up, and exhale to the right side. So keep switching sides at your own pace now to harmonize with the breath. And as the movement becomes more comfortable and familiar, you can possibly lengthen the breath to go a little deeper on each side. the center. Hmm, what are we doing now? Oh, um, now we're going to recline onto our back and walk the heels up towards the sitting bones, leaving the feet hip distance apart and parallel. Press the elbows and feet down. Inhale, lift the sides of the hips up. And on the exhalation, float the buttocks slowly down again, kissing the mat, and then lifting on the inhale, hips up as high as the knees. Just coordinating that movement with the breath. 
So the body and the breath are in harmony. And there's no ego ruining that harmony. Now resting, hips down. We have uh, arms up over the head, legs out straight. I think a full body stretch, maybe lengthen one side, then the opposite. And, and now going opposite hand to opposite knee, bring that left knee in, the right hand touch the left knee, then extend the left leg, the right arm flat, and switch left hand to right knee. So bending one knee at a time, and touching. Now you can do more challenging variations by interlacing the hands behind the head and touching the opposite elbow to knee. With the feet either coming back down to rest between sides or hovering the legs an inch off the floor the whole time. Exhaling as you touch elbow to knee, inhaling as you recline. Good. You're great, you're strong, you're powerful, and we're tired. Let's rest. So put the feet down to rest. Spread the arms now with the palms face down on a, a 45 degree angle. And please lift the feet once more and with the knees either bent or rather extended, start to circle both legs together, making small circles to start. And if you feel the call to enlarge those circles, make them even slower, moving with the breath, Inhale, the feet move away, and exhale, the legs come closer to the head. Now, reverse the circles if you haven't. Circle in the opposite way, maybe with small circles, you find. More comfortable with that movement, you might enlarge the circles, lengthen the breath. Inhale as the legs move away, and exhale as the legs come up towards the head. Now, we'll rest again, feet down, the knees open. So in reclining cobbler pose, press the outer feet down, float the hips for a second, and then settle the buttocks down and what's most comfortable for you. And you can release tension in the hips and thighs and just let the weight of gravity open the knees. Taking complete rest. And so some need a deeper stretch and we'll put the hands on the inner thighs to press gently on the exhalation and relax that pressure on the inhalation so the body isn't fighting against the breath but they're in harmony. Bring the knees up together, hug the knees into the chest, 
tuck the chin and lift the head and shoulders into a little ball and then start to rock back and forth. I hold behind the thighs and get a little rocking chair going. And then start to settle back down to the floor and let the feet rest. Extend the left leg. So the left leg is straight on the floor. And press down through the right foot to roll up and over onto the outer left hip. Cross the right knee to the left side of the mat. And then extend the right arm, palm face up. Left hand to right knee. And as you exhale, draw the navel in and twist a little deeper. Inhale, relax that effort. Be open to what you're experiencing at this moment. And harmonize the body and the breath. They're optimal relationship. Release now to a flat back, extend the right leg, press the left foot into the mat, sliding the hips to the left so you can roll onto the outer right hip and cross the left knee to the right side of the mat. And open the left palm and look to that side, the right hand crossing to the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine, the bottom leg is straight. And on the exhale, pull the navel in and twist a little farther. Releasing on the inhale enough to be open and spacious. And twisting a little deeper on the exhale as you find where that perfect harmony exists, that balance. Good. Release to lay flat on your back. Good. I'm wait up. I'm a, uh, a rest in Shavasana with the legs extending, the palms face up. Put on any additional sweaters or blankets you need to stay warm. Since you worked extra hard today, we'll have an extra long shavasana <laughs> as your reward. Good. Getting all covered up, warm and cozy. And then letting your body stretch out, spread out, take up all the space you could possibly want. And then allow yourself to be as lazy as you could possibly want. And allow the floor to support you. This will black things out, but make it. Hmm. Well, <laughs> now, 
ready to really let go of any residual tension in the body and begin scanning the back of the neck and shoulders and sense if you're still holding any tension or effort in the shoulders, neck, arms. And gradually let that slip away and release. And moving down the spine, all the places resting on the floor. Let all those muscles soften even more. Release any final tension in the spine and back. And allow the floor to hold you and support you. Moving your awareness down into the hips, buttocks, and softening those muscles. Feeling the floor support you completely. And scan the backs of the legs and all the large and small muscles in the legs, releasing tension now. You don't have to hold the legs anymore. The floor is supporting the legs and you can trust the floor to hold you. And scanning the backs of the heels, the soles of the feet, and releasing any final tension. If you're holding your body still, just let it release, let go, and be fully supported by the floor. safe and warm, content now to be still in the body. Satisfied that you've given your body all the exercise it needs, all the stretching, strengthening, movement, and now your body is comfortable enough to begin to relax and be still and quiet. Having the body still and quiet helps the mind also rest from its mental chatter, busyness, comparisons, and give the mind a little mental vacation, just letting the mind drift with the breath in and out through the nostrils. Harmonizing the mantra, so on the inhale, and hum on the exhale. So you have this mental sound flowing harmoniously. So through the entire inhalation, hum through the entire exhalation. With one breath, in lasting the same length as the breath out. Establishing harmony in the microcosm of yourself will help establish harmony in the macrocosm of 
the world around us. Living in harmony, mind, body, and spirit. Produce harmony in the world. Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karvavahe Tejas Vinanaditamastu Mavidvishavahe Om Shanti 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 Lord, may we be protected together. May we be nourished together. May we give strength to one another. And may our study be filled with light. And may we live in harmony with one another. Peace, peace, peace. Now please start awakening, deepening your breath and moving your body to stretch. And opening the eyes, rolling over to the side. Becoming fully conscious and present in this space and time once more come up into an easy seated pose.
practicing selflessness persistently to achieve that harmony between the self and the universal. I bow to that harmony in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much for your presence. Thank you for your practice. And thank you for the harmony you bring to this world. Namaste. Namaste.